Hello Gearspace, I'm Jürgen from Jomox and we have two little new products here that I want to like to show you. Welcome to Superbooth anyway. Um, we have a little module that's called Mod FM. It's an FM synth, eight voice polyphonic uh, with eight times CV gate and multiple uh, CV input capabilities, but also an internal uh, modulation matrix. And we have the Movement Mark II which is a follower, a successor of the uh, Moonwind, which came out 10 years ago. And this is the new version with more usability and uh, I'll, we hope better usability for, uh, for the friends of zero filters, you know. Okay, let's start with the Mod FM. Okay. It all drives, it's all driven from the alpha base, which is our known drum machine. Okay, now the alpha base synchronizing everything. Uh, it goes through a step sequencer with CV gate, and we have this um, mod FM. Okay, now it's the clean signal of the mod FM. Um, we have this matrix where we have four operators and every operator can modulate the other operator. Either way, to obtain these uh, quirky, um, I can show you on the keyboard as well. It also receives MIDI. Behind the, uh, behind the, uh, the, the, uh, the FM synth, it's eight filters. Uh, that makes it a full polyphonic analog, half analog and half digital synth. You can hear it sounds very nice. It can have filter pads as well. This is now the filter with filter tracking and LFOs. Okay, because you can um, change the LFOs to VCOs, then you have actually six uh, VCOs. Okay, but let's start some, do some weird FM stuff. You can press initialize. Now I have initialized the thing. I have envelopes for every, sorry, I can, I can do that myself. Um, Every operator has its own envelope. Every this is still better software, it's not finished. Uh, the module will probably come out next year, mid next year. I can modulate, for instance, let's do this with operator one. Uh, Every operator with the with an external signal. Now this is a Dupfer LFO. Now modulating operator one. And vice versa, we can modulate, for instance, the pitch of the uh, operators with an external soft sequence. And the green LEDs are lighting up, depending on the. Uh, on the cut on the sequence that's applied from outside same with the with the volume so you see uh, there's multiple possibilities of controlling it externally okay now i have the uh, activated the overtone mode it means operator one is the bass tone and operator two to four uh, lock in to the uh, overtones of operator one but still they are capable of modulating operator one which is the carrier in this case we have also algorithms but this is not finished the algorithms will, will be like presets of the matrix because the matrix is very complicated uh, very complex you can uh, get to uh, an unexpected results if you're not careful you because you can modulate everything with everything, you know. That also means you have the feedback, which tends to create very, uh, you hear that 
noisy sounds, you know. Okay, again, reset initialized, which makes it much easier. <laughs> I have these LFOs that can act as VCOs and have multiple waveforms. Okay. Um, and all run through the filter. With snappy envelopes. This is a true VCA. Okay, and we can step through some presets. Okay, and let's switch over to. Okay, let's do that sequence now. Now step over to the moon wind, which is now. I turn from dry to wet. It runs through the moon wind, which is a stereo filter with um, many possibilities. I don't hear anything. It's a multi-mode filter. Uh, it can have a sequencer, but it can also run on itself, like this. Now I have synced the LFO uh, to, to the MIDI clock. This is the beat. They can have multiple shapes. Band pass, notch, low pass. Now we have low pass on both sides. The right side has one bar LFO and the left side has 16. I change it now to some other one. Now it's fourth. I have an inbuilt noise generator that adds to the incoming signal. I'll make it faster. 16th is pretty nice. And now I can also sync it to the beat. I have a little sequence. You see, I switch it over to sequence and then I have a little um, gadget that means I can edit the, 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 the cutoff sequences with a touchpad. Every side, you know. Still it's modulating with the LFO. <laughs> And we have many, many um, reverb, stereo delay, delay and chorus, waveguide. That's the waveguide, which is pretty cool. Uh, I forgot to say, okay, this is a stereo filter, but it has an effects processor of ill built in that runs aside of the of the filters and that's mixed into the signal path this is the direct signal now this is the filter signal I can even uh, add at the cue and the resonance tracks I, and then you hear this is sequenced resonance now. And the right side as well.
Last step, up to 32 steps. All still running with the, with the Okay, this is just the bean now, I'm fading in. Take some other effects, just just reverb. Reverb feedback is also very nice. And also record them in real time. Now it's recorded. I can undo several recordings, but also I can change it via touchpad. So, I hope that in future with the moon wind, uh, people will not complain about the unusability of the sequencer. <laughs> I did my very best to make it better. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah.